commentary done by Diggity. I need to get Sony in chat here on Twitch chat. This is game two between Keen and Masuchi. The 9 o'clock location, we have Keen starting as the orange Zerg. 3 o'clock location, we have Masuchi starting as the hot pink Zerg. This is going to be on Ascension, which I think is a very interesting match, imp, uh, map in particular for ZVZ because, uh, first of all, the ramp positioning here in the natural expansion, but the, the Zergling eggs creating a little bit of a funnel, but also kind of the ramp where you can have little more micro Zergling fights. We'll see how it plays out. I actually wish... This is where I like hearing from Zerg players, in particular on the more esoteric, kind of the, I feel like I got a good grasp on the rest of the Zerg openers, but as far as like the nine hatch opener, in particular, I almost want to, or I want to see a nine hatch now versus the 12 hatch opener just to see, or sorry, I should say uh, the 12 pool opener just to see where the drones end up lining up. And then if a more talented Zerg player can let me know in chat, it's just one of, I feel like, I, yeah, I'm decent with the rest of the build orders, but that one, uh, escapes me overall overlord making its way so it looks like masuchi might have an advantage with this initial overlord scouting keen scouting the third expansion that is unoccupied currently at the 12 o'clock location and we are seeing a nine pool this time for masuchi with extractor so he wants to be the aggressor to start things off overlord in production and drones being produced now this could turn into an ex uh, instant victory for masuchi on not instant victory, but potentially an instant victory with a 12th hatch. But it looks like we are, in fact, seeing a 12th pool, which gives Keen the build order advantage. It is not insurmountable, and I have seen many, many Zerg come back from this position. But what oftentimes happens is Masu what Mizuji might want to do, we'll see if he decides to skip upon seeing the opening builds. If he, it, it, There's a dependency on, okay, when does Zergling speed get upgraded? Does Zergling speed get upgraded? Six Zerglings now in production here. Overlord still not in position to scout. A drone kind of hiding in this corner for Keen. I'm wondering what that's about. Maybe to try to scout the Overlord. Now plopping down that natural expansion. So he's going to have that lead solid. Zergling speed is being upgraded for Masuchi rather than opting for Lair first. And wandering out. Spawning pool finished. We're seeing at least four Zerglings. Sorry, six Zerglings being produced, and this is one of those situations where the Zerglings are, I believe, going to get just the natural expansion, and the, this Overlord for Keen is going to see these Zerglings incoming, so he knows what build order he's up against. Kind of the situation you want to be in. Does need to still micro his Zerglings, though. So the Zerglings making their way to the natural. They're going to greet their... from the opposite corner. Some nice micro from Masuchi, and it looks like with that micro... Wow, Keen might be in trouble now. So what turned into a build order advantage, now looking scary. More Zerglings flooding in. Keep in mind, Keen does have the reinforcement location, but pulling drones off the line to try to defend this hatchery now. Able to pick off a couple of units right there. So the drone's able to ward this off, but this is missed mining time, and that missed mining time is critical. Matsuchi continuing to peck away at this hatchery. One Zergling actually sneaking through. That's going to make life hell at that location. So the Zerglings continue to press there. This Zergling looks like it might even get some kills. Nicely cleaned up by Keen, but that's still more disrupted mining kind times. The drones getting us around. Are more drones going to get picked off in the midst of this? Keen doing a pretty good job microing now with his drones and fewer Zerglings in the midst of this. And now with the swap around, I believe the problem now is that Lair has finished for Masuchi, whereas Keen is, n I don't think, anywhere near Lair. No, he actually had to stop mining gas for a period of time and two more zerglings flooding in for masuchi so the spire now being produced for masuchi another drone down the zerglings trying to counterattack, but this is where that gap might come into play yeah they're turning around at the gap keen actually had better positioning and those zerglings able to gonna f are able to flood through there so keen down a, a drone but might be able to even things up if he can just position this well and he needs to get something done with these zerglings Looks like they're going to retreat, unfortunately, because that Spire halfway finished and his Spire is not even started. So he's going to need to drop an Evolution Chamber or just try to go for a Zergling Flood to try to counter this. Currently, it looks like he wants to try to get it done with just flat Zerglings. So Zerglings pocketing to the north. Looks like they want to go for a potential surround. Masuchi not giving him that opportunity. An Overlord along that corner. A couple Zerglings being po uh, picked off along that grouping when Masuchi might not have produced enough Zerglings to defend this. 
doesn't have them positioned. A sunken colony defensively being produced. Keen has a window here to maybe pick off some drones. The drone's coming off the line, making his uh, work a little bit easier for him. Spire is up. Mulas are now in production. But the sunken colony finishes. And the Zerglings and the drones going to battle in the midst of this. Sunken Colony now picked off, but the rest of the Keen Zerglings being thinned out. Only four Zerglings left in the main. And Masuchi, if he can get those Mutalisks up in the air, that basically will be GG. Seven, versus, seven drones versus seven drones still. The Zerglings trying to peek around that corner. The Mutalisks now up in the air. And now Keen has his work cut out for him. The Zerglings are trying to retreat and regroup. But they're just eating fire in the meantime. And Masuchi can just filter this in. So now Keen is trying to buy himself some time to go ahead and get his evolution chamber up, which is going up that natural. And he's going to have to just expend units to make that happen. The Mutalists making their way that direction. More Zerglings flooding in. And actually, that might draw the Mutalists back. Yeah, that's going to draw the Mutalists back. And that should provide time to go ahead and potentially get a Spore Colony up at one of these locations. And... Keen actually able to get in. Maybe pick off a drone. Looks like he's having trouble focus firing on that drone. So he's got Creep Colony at his main. Creep Colony at his natural expansion to eventually be Spore Colonies to defend this. Still going to take some time. Some Zerglings still flooding through. And he's most certainly going to end up losing this Overlord. Things are looking dire for Keen overall. He's down to four drones. The Zerglings weren't able to pick off a lot. And Masuchi can basically micro just macro behind this. Also in the red as these Mutalisks were able to get an Overlord kill. So yeah, Masuchi can just block this drone up, continue to build Mutalisks. The one advantage here is the Spore Colonies did finish, but I don't think they protect all of the minerals here. And critically, I think this is the fastest mining mineral patch. Masuchi getting caught with his a little bit unaware is almost losing Mutalisk in the midst of there. And Keen going with a counterattack, able to get a drone, two drones, three drones, and even things up. Four drones. Wow. Nice play from Keen. Catching Masuchi off guard. So now Masuchi all of a sudden down. He has the Mutalisk, he has the air advantage. But one of them is highly damaged. And there's only three drones remaining. So now all of a sudden, Keen in a position where he can comfortably macro up. But he's opting to build more Zerglings. More Zerglings being produced from Masuchi as well to go ahead and blockade that natural expansion. The Mule is trailing the Zerglings. Trying to pick them off. In staggered fire. Masuchi, yeah, just trying to stay alive, it looks like, at this stage. Still has air superiority. Lay are not up anywhere near up for Keen. Keen splitting those Zerglings to the wind. Overlord has spotted them. Keep in mind, Keen playing very much in the dark as Mizuchi can keep those Overlords kind of out and hunt these Zerglings down. So Keen making his uh, work difficult, but Masuchi in the meantime building his own Zergling force. And between the Zerglings and the Mutalisks, might be able to go for a counterattack situation to cap the game. In the short term, Keen macroing better. But those Mutalisks able to wipe these Zerglings out. Keen trying to punch through that natural expansion. But there's GG. Just didn't have enough to repel the Mutalisks and the Zerglings. <laughs> Crazy match. That's ZVZ for you. So I'm not sure about comfortable macroing. I should never say that. Never again in ZVZ. It's too intense a matchup to be able to say that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, intense one. Thanks for listening.